What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, we got ourselves a brand new banner and a couple things to talk about. So you guys can see here, Lucia and Aerith are the next part of the anniversary. Honest to God, I would have never thought this. This is kind of throwing blew my mind. Uh, they're not actually part of the anniversary itself. Technically, they have a weapon, half anniversary weapon, five star, five star guarantee draw going on, but they also do have a discounted discount it says discount i'm surprised by this uh new weapon feature draw on right now so let's take a look at this real quick and see what it's all about so helical flame i knew it was going to be fire damage i had a feeling it looked like flare to me in the beginning to be honest with you it inflicts 630 percent fire damage upon all enemies when there is only one enemy it inflicts uh 1.3 percent so very very similar setup to exactly how sephiroth's new weapon is nowhere near the firepower but obviously his is non-elemental hers is actually fire damage uh, and she has blazing rose it is a single enemy when the caster's hp is over 50 percent the enemy defense is drastically reduced so they're trying to make Lucia into a debuffer now more and more. It's happening way more often. Like the last weapon she had, I think, was Thunderbird, which also did the exact same thing, but with elemental thunder damage. Now we got ourselves, obviously, the fire damage with the Blazing Rose. It actually looks like a badass gun, to be honest with you. More girls need more roses. Uh, and then here are their outfits. Classic Connie, uh, Boost Magical Ability Potency, and Flame Blade Arcanum. Wow, she's got a, an Arcanum now for Flame as well. So she, she's got now what? She has... I believe Ice, Wind, and Flame. Man, Aerith is literally becoming a powerhouse for, for magic. And she's always kind of been anyways, right? And then Gothic Bunny. Oh, the, you boys must be losing your shit right now. Guys like goth girls, they always say that. Bunny ears, you're a whole different ball game. Uh, so bu <laughs> buff and uh, debuff extension. And then Flame Frost, Rabbit Ears, Boost Fire, and Ice Magic Damage. What the hell? Why would they give her this and not Red 13 something? What a slap in the face for Red 13. Poor dog, man. I swear to God. Cruelty to Animals essay. I'm telling you right now. This is this is crazy. They just gave her ears and said, now you're an animal. Here's a weapon. Everything's all right. Show Red 13 some damn love, bro. Nanaki's getting nothing. Anyways, there you guys have it. Uh, so a unique... Well, no, I can't say unique because technically he already had that outfit. Uh, that's Nanaki, that is. But she does have buff and debuff, which is way better. I think he only had debuff on his, or or maybe buff. I think it was debuff. So hers is actually better. So there you guys have it. Um, quite honestly, I'm not summoning for this shit. Like, first off, I'm acting like I have any currency to summon on this stuff. Uh, I don't, so that's problem number one. Uh, you guys can see here, there's the banner right there. There's a step-out draw still going. And now uh, we have the limited break banner here that are still the limit break ones and then we have the feature banner which is the Aerith and uh lucia one listen man uh here's the thing like Aerith's weapon is actually really nice because it will do pretty decent damage what, what was the percentage again it was 600 per 630 times 1.3 one sec calculator time yes that's right i gotta bring a calculator off for this all right uh where are we at here 6.30, right? We said 6.30 times 1.3. Times 1.3. 819% for a single target damage. Um, if you take into account Cloud's newest weapon, take away from the... Uh, what's the percentage on this one again? Free stream was 900%. So... It's a little lower than the, the Limit Break weapon, so definitely way better anyways, as it is. But this does have an element of AoE, right? Is it worth actually summoning for? N no. I I don't know why you would, unless you're a hardcore Aerith fan. Now listen, the weapon's not bad. It's actually a pretty good weapon. And look, boost HP, boost fire potency, magic, magic, and all cure spell, which is actually really nice too. So giving her that usual ability of being an off healer, which is very nice for her, because really, she's still the best healer in the game, uh, even though Matt has Centipede now, but... This is boost magic ability potency, f boost fire potency, magic attack, magic attack, and the sigil boost. So both pretty decent weapons, but nothing to like write home about. If you have crystals and you have not OB6 to your weapons that are limit break ones, that's where your focus should be. So there you guys have that. That's a pretty straightforward one. I don't really think... I mean, listen, I know, uh, for example, Peter, shout out to Peter, one of my mods, aka Marcus, who loves Lucia, by the way. And I'm pretty sure you have a hard on right now. That's right, I took it there. Really odd, but I took it there. Um, he loves her, so I'm, I'm assuming he's probably went on on this, and hopefully he has some good luck, but I'll, I'll probably find out on Discord, depending on his temperament and 
you know, mod chat. Um, but some folks are going to actually summon for this who are Aerith fans and, and Lucia fans. Most people will most likely skip, so I'm not too stressed up about this myself. Um, I still don't have enough to even summon for these ones. And let's just check our gifts. Do we have anything brand new? 700. I'm still off. I still don't have enough. Even if I wanted to, I still don't have enough to summon on the Cloud Banner. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm still trying to go for that and get that out of the way. So I got to work on that. So new event as well, just so you guys are aware. The event is currently out. There it is. A tea party and festive eggs. Make sure you're actually doing this because the gathering uh, quantity and stuff does matter. Because you guys can get yourself some, some cool prizes, right? The carrot sword as well as mithril ingots, which are really important. Carrot sword does fire damage. Uh, boost magic attack and boost fire potency is actually kind of nice to be honest with you uh and then magic attack across the board you'll never use this as a main weapon but you will use it maybe as a sub weapon if you were running a, a like a heavy magic uh casting fire team so pretty important there uh missions we have a couple missions here we got five thousand stamina raise carrot sword play kicking i feel so bad for this chocobo egg oh there's some crystals right there and then we have dailies Oh, nice. 100, 100 of these. That That's actually important, okay? And then, of course, we got the storyline, and we got score battle mode going on here. So make sure you're doing this as well, too. It's very important that you guys max this out in terms of the gathering amount every single time before the next event drops because you can get the maximum amount of rewards out of that. If you don't maximize it, then you're going to miss out on some pretty important stuff like five-star carrot swords, sometimes mithril ores, right, etc. So definitely put some effort into gathering all of this stuff. Um, and don't don't stress too much about uh, doing the score battles right away. Remember, you can do them all at the end if you want to. As long as you don't exceed 999, you can still get more than that, but then you, you can't actually collect anything. So you have to make sure that you at least, at the very least, stay at the 999 mark and go from there. Okay, so let's just see what this is all about. So fire damage, obviously. So we have a fire team. This is going to be a joke. Um, let's go to the fire team here, fire build. There we go. And jump in and do this. So... For the next uh, little while, guys, until we see what happens on weeks, uh, what do we got? Four now, five, six, and seven. I'm assuming week seven, we're going to most likely get guilds. Uh, we're really gonna just, oh, we have a new chapter coming, which probably will introduce a new dungeon as well. So that might happen as well, too. We haven't had a crash in a while, so I'm assuming a crash will eventually creep its way in there, too. Uh, but for now, guys, this is the event. Work with it. Get all these rewards for free. They're actually really good rewards for the most part. And then move on and do something brand new with your life and wait for the next week to drop. Uh, so far, this game has been honestly exactly what it's been from day one. A great AFK, uh, not AFK, a great idle RPG for me personally. Like it doesn't require a lot of my time. I always feel like I'm progressing. I feel like I'm always getting rewards every day. And I always feel actually very, very satisfied when I'm finished an event. So keep it up Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. I know a lot of you guys, this is your main game and only game. It, that I can see why some of you guys are complaining about boredom, but for me personally, this is actually a blessing in disguise. The fact that there isn't insane amount of content to do all the time. All right, guys, it's Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Skip the damn banner. Unless your name is Peter, then enjoy. Have a good one.